You know, many people wonder why I make self-development videos at the same time as I make those artsy films. Well, it's because I believe that art can actually heal you, whether you're an artist or not. You can attach meaning to your life, but that meaning is yours and yours alone. It's not objective. It's not an absolute. Art has this transformation, transformational effect on people where it allows people to connect on a deeper level, whether emotionally, uh, in terms of worldview with someone else, belief structures, ways of seeing the world, um, concepts of beauty and taste. So art has this deeper field of communication that natural, normal words and scientific and logical and rational words cannot convey the same way, right? The vibration of art is different. The way I see art is like, art is like a language, you know? A language like French, English, Spanish, whatever it is. But the difference is that art communicates through the senses. And if we can understand this form of communication, we have access to a completely new way of, of conveying something to things, right? You know, the, the old saying of a, thou, a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, a painting or a sculpture or a nice video. You don't even need to put voice in the video, right? For example, you look at my montages that, I, that I'll put a preview right here. You see the nice video right here, right? You see it right here. There's no sound to it. You know, there's no like language spoken. Sure, I put some music on top of it, but you feel something just by watching it. You know, like I'm trying to convey a feeling of freedom, of being free, right? Because listen, I could talk about freedom and joy and happiness as much as I want right here, about excitement. But what no better, there's no better way of conveying it than through art, right? through this frame right here. Because you could write about it, you could speak about it. Sure, that's nice. It's a way of communication, but it's not the same as an actual piece of art. So I encourage you to see things from this perspective from now on. And now maybe you'll understand better why I do all those things. So to get started, what is art? What is it exactly? Art could mean works produced by human creative skill and imagination a skill at doing a specific thing typically one acquired through practice that's very interesting right art could be something that you practice and get really good at for example the art of public speaking the art of seduction it's something that you get good at with practice right the art of playing the piano, the art of gardening, the art of cooking. When someone tells you that they're an artist, the first thing you think of is a fucking painting, like a fucking canvas. But I want you to expand this concept of art, taking into consideration the art of expressing yourself, the art of growing yourself to the fullest. Because I'm assuming if you're watching those videos, you're somehow interested in the bettering yourself or you're somehow interested in art in some way. So in a sense, you growing yourself, that's the art of bettering yourself. That is the art of life. So whatever you are, you know, also art is the application of human skill through imagination and creativity. Aren't you creating your life every single second of the day? Think about it. Whether you are seated at a, at a couch, like a lazy motherfucking couch potato, or you are producing things into the world, bringing to things creative, imaginative things, whether you're doing one or the other, you are still creating your life. Your life is art. Think about it. You are the greatest piece of art to you, right? Whoever created you, whether it's God or the universe or whatever thing you believe in, that's an amazing piece of art that was created by the 
creative imagination of the universe or God or whatever thing you want to believe in. Whatever created us, we don't know, but hey, it is an amazing work of art in progress. You can see yourself as an art form, as a sculpture, right? Why do I wear this mask, for example? Well, it's kind of to remind myself that I can turn myself, I guess, into a piece of art. Someone sculpted it and, you know, the fact that I stole it from uh, V for Vendetta, I just stole the mask and I spray painted it. And it's an homage to, I guess, the several artists that steal. You can entertain this notion for now, but you know, to be more specific, if you look at everything around you, everything is art. YouTube videos that you watch on your browser, a lot of it is art. The phone that maybe you're holding in your hand right now, that's art. Someone created this, someone engineered the sculpture of the phone. The iPhone, someone who had to conceive the design of it. It had to be thought of about for months or years to create this perfect rectangular um, gadget. The films that you watch, the images that you see on Instagram, this camera that's filming me, that's someone had to come up with the design of this camera and how it looks and how it functions. If you see everything around you from an artistic perspective, you'll be able to appreciate the world better, appreciate everything around you better. You will see everything around you with more appreciation, beauty, right? And if the world around you becomes beautiful, then you're able to see this, this same beauty in yourself, right? Don't forget, everything is art. Everything around you and you are also a piece of art. And this hopefully will help you feel better and uh, grow as a person, right? Now, an important note here. Art does not necessarily need to be beautiful, does not necessarily need to be that to make you feel happy. Art is simply a, at least something somehow creative that conveys uh, an expression of human emotion in some ways, right? It could be melancholia, sadness, loneliness, frustration, confusion, excitement, love, joy, gratitude, beauty, a feeling of existential crisis, emptiness, numbness, sorrow, grief, paranoia, fear. Think of those emotions, right? You know, usually people, um, when they label their own emotions, they will say happy or sad, right? And most people have a hard time digging deeper into those they keep at the surface. And because they keep at the surface, they judge everything black and white, either this is pretty or this is not pretty. If you look at a piece of art and you can see grief, melancholia, and paranoia in it, for example, right, just throwing emotions there, instead of just sadness, then oh, I get it now, I get it. If you can see that in the art, you can see that in you. You're able to understand it in you, right? Actually, as an exercise, I'm gonna post some art forms uh, in this video, just like pictures of, uh, of uh, painters that I like. And try to pinpoint what emotion you feel when you watch this painting. Um, don't just say frightened, don't just say happy, don't just say sad. Say something, I guess, try to pinpoint as many emotions as you can, right? If they're contrasting emotions, even better. If they're contradicting emotions, even better, right? Look at those pieces of art and what they mean to you. And whatever that means, if it can connect with you on a deep level, this is when you will really like this art. So do this right now.
next YouTube video you watch, it doesn't have to be me, it could be anyone else. Ask yourself, how does that video make me feel? How does that video make me think differently? How is this video art? What are they creating? What is creative about it? What is different about it, right? And don't forget, everything around you is art. So treat it like such, with loving compassion and love for all the amazing art around you. So thank you guys for watching, because on the fucking bell, because when you click on the bell, you can see all my fucking videos. Stay tuned for more. I'm gonna shoot another video right after this one. Yeah, sweating like hell. AC doesn't work, holy shit.